is, yeah, it's going to be really warm still here as we start off the new work week. Todd, we've got uh, the warm air outside here still this evening. Tomorrow will be much the same. We've got more of those 80s that a lot of folks were out in earlier on today. There is still some rain in the forecast, mainly timing out for tomorrow night. That's the main things we're looking at as we start off this week, and obviously we could desperately need some rain. Yeah, it was great for fall harvest uh, as we've been going through the fall. Yes, absolutely, but it's getting a little bit too dry out there. So far since September started, we're only at eight tenths of an inch of rain here in the Des Moines Metro. That's shy four inches of what we would expect at this point in the season here, about seven weeks into meteorological fall. I mean, look at other places, not quite as bad up towards Ames, Fort Dodge, uh, Tumwa, but that's still at most only about a quarter of the moisture that you would expect at this point in fall. Here in Des Moines, we've only actually had three whole days where we had any kind of measurable rainfall at all here over the past seven weeks. So tomorrow, well, that those 80s, all that heat that's been helping us dry out as more and more as well. There's your highs for your Monday. Still very comfortable and summer like skies will still be pretty sunny. Just some thin high clouds I think will drift overhead in advance of our next weather system. Big upper level low pressure center. It's right now way to our south and west. It'll arrive in western Iowa tomorrow night with some showers. I think at earliest towards let's say seven, eight o'clock. We pause the clock here at about nine. A couple of showers way western parts of the state. Those sort of pinwheel eastward here into central Iowa as we go through the wee hours of Tuesday morning. There might be one or two rumbles of thunder with these, maybe a sh thunder shower or two, but otherwise just going to be sort of sporadic, scattered sort of activity that lingers through about sunrise on Tuesday and then pushes off to the east and leaves us dry and actually sunnier quickly as we head through the day on Tuesday. So this isn't soaking widespread rainfall. In fact, if you look at the map, we're going to be mostly in that lighter green color, so a few hundredths to an inch. If you get over a tenth of an inch, then you're one of the lucky folks. This is going to be very scattered and light sort of rain, but we've had next to nothing in recent weeks and days, so it's more than that at least. The eight day forecast has a couple new rain chances in it too. Well, it looks like well, at least a system moving in here towards Thursday could bring us a couple of showers as well. Again, nothing significant, but that's new in the data. Our temperatures will also drop off a little bit as well from around 80 on Monday and Tuesday. Back to the 60s on Wednesday, a front's going to move through early on Wednesday, shift our winds around back to the north and west, drop us to only highs in the 60s. That's closer to normal for this time of the year. Uh, that's the coolest, though. We're just going to hang out in 60s to lower 70s the rest of the week. A little bit chilly early on Thursday, and then we'll recover back to more 70s as we head to the upcoming weekend. Right now, there's some potential for rainfall this weekend, too, but again, we're keeping those potentially uh, those chances only at about 20% or so. For the most part, we're going to remain dry.